This week is critical for the stock market. We had a, a good run up at the start of the year and continuing on, uh, but the last three weeks have been down. Wall Street talks about the slope of hope and the wall of worry. And the idea is the slope of hope when the market is up, you tend to slide down the slope of hope and you tend to climb up the wall of worry when it's finally reached bottom and it starts to climb up. Uh, looking at the, uh, the illustration, I think we're somewhere between uh, the, t the toe dippers and the bottom, we're heading towards the bottom feeders. The critical event in all of this will be what happens on uh, August 23rd, Wednesday. That's when NVIDIA reports earnings. If it's just okay earnings, I think the market continues to go down. If it's wonderful earnings, it will lift the entire market and you will go from a bottom feeding to momentum playing. If it's less than what is expected, we are definitely going to be in the bottom feeder zone. Investor sentiment has been so important and it's changed in the last three weeks. A month ago, it was that extreme greed. A week ago, it was in greed. And now it's at the bottom part of neutral and it's verging on fear. If, if NVIDIA reports terrible earnings, which I don't really expect them to do, but even if they ex uh, expect, if, if they report less than expected earnings, we're going to go into fear. Okay. And I don't think that's a reason to buy, <laughs> unfortunately, because I think it will drag the whole market down. If, if it does well, it does better than expected, I think you could invest in artificial intelligence stocks, mainly in NVIDIA itself. And that's what I, what I plan to do. I don't plan on shorting or uh, triple leveraging it up in a bullish way, uh, simply because I think this market is too risky and it's too unstable. I think you're ahead just to play uh, the stock straight. And if you want to do an ETF, I would do the QQQ. I'm telling you what I'm going to do if earnings come out wonderful on NVIDIA, I'm going to buy the QQQ probably and buy NVIDIA itself. And I think artificial intelligence stocks will all be dragged up. I may be tempted to buy some other ones, but if you look at the chart on QQQ, I like to use the the, mom the momentum indicators of the 12 day, the 22 day, and the 55 day moving averages. And as you can see, the 12 day average has spliced through both the 22 day and the 55 day average. And this is not good. This means you're you're in bad shape. And the relative strength is in the 30s. It's like 35. Uh, below 50 on relative strength means you're in for negative signs. But the only thing that can turn this around is NVIDIA. I'm hanging my hopes on NVIDIA reporting good earnings. If they report anything less than expected, we're going down. We also will get a better idea of what technology is doing uh, from Splunk and Snowflake reporting earnings on August 23rd. Uh, they have very similar uh, charts uh, to QQQ, uh, but they seem to be worse charts. And if these turn around, I would, I would take NVIDIA as being the main uh, course, and that's going to say what's going to happen. And I'm going to invest in artificial intelligence stocks at that point, at least for a while, ride it out, see what happens. But I think uh, Snow and Splunk will add additional information. A Splunk in the first quarter uh, had wonderful earnings. 
uh, that was uh, very much higher than what was expected. Uh, but they have come uh, crashing down with the rest of the market. And now their relative strength is like 37. And of course, the 12 day has sliced through the 22 day and the 55 day uh, moving averages. And I find this, this system of uh, the 12, 22 and 55, and also looking at the relative strength, uh, which is only 37, uh, as being r really good indicators. But it's going to take something major like NVIDIA reporting at least good or earnings and preferably wonderful earnings uh, for technology to regain its footing. Splunk is overvalued as it has a price to earnings of 36, but it has a wonderful earnings growth rate of 49%, which probably is more important, especially if the market starts to go up. Snowflake is a business software company that Berkshire Hathaway owns. Now, I don't think Warren Buffett bought this stock. I think somebody else in uh, more attuned to technology within his organization uh, probably uh, bought it with his consent. Uh, but it also has a, a wonderful earnings growth rate of like 46%. Uh, so that excuses it somewhat, but it's price to earnings is like in the 400s. <laughs> okay, so this is a very long term play on Berkshire Hathaway's part. But it, again, that wonderful earnings growth rate usually overwhelms uh, the price to earnings. Uh, if the market is generally going up, which I think will be signaled by NVIDIA's earnings on August 23rd, Wednesday. We also have uh, the Fed and Jerome Powell. Uh, he's going to be talking at Jackson Hole on Friday, and I don't expect it to be that much of a, a market mover. It, it, it might be I think if the market takes off on Wednesday after NVIDIA's earnings, he's going to be hawkish. I think if NVIDIA reports uh, less than expected earnings, the market goes down and he'll be more neutral. That's my prediction. <laughs> so I, I think we have some wild times in the market here and uh, hopefully looking at NVIDIA and secondarily at Splunk and Snow will give us an idea of whether it, it's possible to start, uh, start uh, bargain hunting and hopefully get some good momentum plays out of NVIDIA's positive earnings, which I expect. I don't think they're going to be horrible, but if they're less than expected, they might as well be horrible. Thanks for listening and watching. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done that. Thank you.